Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire and I'm going to have to come out here and fix up my uh, new boxes that I made, my new uh, raised planters on the outside of my garden. Uh, they're not working out. I think I know the reason why uh, and I'm going to try to remedy that and just start over. Um, so let's look and see what all we're going to do. Alright, the stuff that I have in here is not um, taking off compared to what I planted in here. I just planted these um, field peas in here three days ago and it's been raining and they're coming up already and they're bigger than any of the plants I've had in here and they've been in the ground for like two weeks. So I think what I have done is when I made these beds I was trying to save money so I put this mulch um, underneath um, this soil just to fill the bed up and so I believe what is happening according to Brew City Garden I believe he is correct is that that stuff is pulling the nitrogen out of my uh, out of the soil I've got on top so what I want to do is come back in here I want to mash all this down I want to try to compact it as much as I can and then I'm going to put some more topsoil on top of it and I may throw a little fertilizer um, between those two layers of soil just because I want to get as much soil as I can get between my seeds and what's at the bottom of this compost. I don't want to take it all out. Just go through and I'm going to compact all this as much as I can. Wish I weighed what I weighed about four weeks ago. Be mashing this down a little bit easier. Okay. Well, you get the idea. That's what I'm going to do right there. Throw a little fertilizer on top of that. All right. I got the um, major, you know, the major sticks and stuff pulled out. Um, packed it down pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Packed it down way better than it was. I'm going to come back in, put a generous amount of topsoil on top of this. I've got that fertilizer in there to help with that nitrogen that I must be losing. And uh, see if we can't get a good barrier between us and that. Uh, this is one of those live and learn things right here, you know. All right, got it redone, so uh, let me let you get a closer look at it here. Um, all right, this one little box here, uh, I believe I put some uh, rutabagas down there. Uh, this little box here, radishes, and I got some carrots kind of split between the radishes and the carrots. And then here, from here down, is uh, collards. And then half of this is collards. And half of this is spinach. I uh, got some advice. I uh, believe it was from Ron, um, from Outdoors with Ron. And he said that spinach are probably better off in the shade. And uh, also a little dirt never hurt. He told me that would be better off in a little cooler area. 
So we've had some nice cool days here. I know we're going to get some more hot days, but that will get a decent amount of shade, that location right there, more than over here. And so thanks for some advice from some of you guys. I'm going to redo this. didn't cost that much. And like I said, it's a learning experience, so the knowledge itself is worth it. And uh, we'll see if these don't do any better with the extra soil in there and the fertilizer. And uh, I'm pretty excited about my, my field peas in here and my snap peas over there. We're going to see how that uh, plays out with them, but they sure are growing good right now. So, Nichols Retirement Empire. Signing out for the day. If you hadn't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and like. If I'm doing something wrong that's obvious, it, you know, it won't hurt my feelings for you to go, hey, Chris, you know, putting all that mulch underneath that stuff's going to kill everything you got. I wouldn't have got mad uh, if you'd have told me that. Uh, I might have blocked your comment or removed your comment, <laughs> but I wouldn't have got mad. So, anyway, you guys have a good day. Um, talk to you later. Nichols Retirement Empire.